We're going to use all we know about adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing sign numbers now to collect like terms algebraically. So we're going to add variables into this picture. Um, I can only collect or combine like terms if the variable portion of, of that term is alike. So in these two terms, terms are a set of factors, 12 times a, 3 times a, in these two terms, I can collect them because the variable portion is exactly like if they happen to have powers on them, the power would have to be the same as well. So I can take the 12 and the 3 and add them together and call this expression 15 of those a's, or we call it 15a. Remember, the commutative property of addition would also allow us to say that 3a plus 12a is equal to 15a. There is no need to write this out in any greater fashion than this. Often the book will, a book will express this um, problem in that it will ask you to take the 12 and the 3 and add them together, and it will show a group of parentheses around them with the a on the outside to see that the 12 plus 3 gives you that 15a, or it's kind of showing the distributive property in reverse. Really, really not necessary to go through all that work. Just combine your like terms by adding or subtracting their coefficients. If I ask you to take 9b minus b, what you need to recognize is the coefficient in front of this second term is an understood one. So if it's not written there, you're welcome to write it there. Um, and then go ahead and combine those like terms. There's nine of those, and you're going to take away one of those. That's going to give you 8b. Again, bring, uh, carry along that, that variable portion, which makes this a like term. Let's put one together that's got um, about six terms in it, several, several groups. go ahead and combine like terms in this expression. So for example, these first two terms are like terms because the variable portion has an x in it. I have to take their coefficients and in this case subtract them. So 8 minus 12 is a negative 4. I will put that coefficient in front of that variable x. Let's keep moving on. I'm working left to right and I happen to be, my like terms happen to be side by side. So now I have a 3y, and I'd like to take away a 2y. When I take their coefficients and subtract them, 3 minus 2 is a positive 1. I can write the 1 with that y, or I don't have to. Typically, we do not. So typically, we write that as just plus y. And then finally, I'm going to add 6 and take away 4. 6 minus 4 is 2, and I'm all done. Typically write this in uh, alphabetical order, this, um, so x is first, then y's. Let's look at another. So sometimes we don't put the like terms right next to one another. So here I've got 13a, and I want to take away 2a because they're like terms, and 13 minus 2 is 11. Then the 9b and the 17b are like terms, but I know that when I subtract, when I take a positive 9 and add a negative 17, their signs are not alike, so I have to subtract their absolute values. 17 minus 9 is 8. So I have an 8b, but this is a positive 9 and a negative 17, so the negative sign has more pull, so I'd write that as a negative 8b. Many people want to write that as plus a negative. That's fine. The more common answer for this is to just write the minus 8b um, instead of that plus a negative 8b. Uh, let's do another one with maybe six terms and maybe a quick fraction. So a negative 8 plus 11a minus 5b plus 6a minus 7b plus 7. I'm going to do this one fairly quickly. I'm going to do the a's first. So 11a plus 6a is 17 of those a's. The 
then I have a negative 5. That's essentially, it's a negative 5b. And I have a negative 7b that I'm adding together. They have like signs, so I add their absolute values. That's a 12. And I give their um, answer, the, um, the common sign. So that's a negative 12b, or you can write it as plus a negative 12b. Finally, this negative 8 and that positive 7 add to be a negative 1. I can write that as minus 1 or plus a negative 1. Find me a problem involving fractions. Let's take 13 over 2a, 9 over 5b, 2 thirds a, and 3 tenths b. So this one and this one are like terms because they both have a as their variable portion and their common denominator needs to be a 6. This one having a denominator of 2, this one having a denominator of 3. I'm going to multiply this fraction by 3 over 3 to make that a 6 and then multiply that fraction by a 2 over a 2. So let's put them next to one another. So here I have a 39 over 6a. I have a minus sign here. And here I have 4. 2 times 2 is 4 over 6a. So I'll get ready to combine those in a minute. This 5 and this 10 has a common denominator of 10. So this 9 fifths needs to be multiplied by 2 on top and 2 on the bottom to make that become a 10. 2 times 9 is 18 tenths b. And then I have the 3 tenths B. And I am ready to now combine my like terms because I've gotten common denominators. I will subtract their numerators. So 39 minus 4 is 35 over 6a. 18 minus 3 is uh, a positive 15 over 10b. And finally, I'm just going to real quickly remind you that you should reduce this. 5 goes into here twice. 5 goes into here 3 times, that would be 3 halves B. I think that one's all set. There's nothing that can be reduced by, and I'm all done. Careful. Combining like terms. The variable portion has to be the same, and you add or subtract their coefficients.